Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of our Crooked Moon campaign. Last episode, we defended a pretty epic siege from these rebels at Carrick Norn. We kind of crushed them, actually. We did pretty good. Uh, and we're dealing with some Border Prince issues, but we can handle that. Uh, I am working on getting Zarekzil up to walls. That's going to be very, very important. And I also would like to get a uh, Goblin Tinkerer bench going as well, so we can kind of keep that going. Uh, everything else up here is pretty well defended. Let's go ahead and end our turn. And hopefully we'll be able to actually start building that Goblin Tinkerer bench very soon. People eliminated. Sour Brain Basha. Ah, our other Goblin General. We'll do Better Night, uh, better night Sneakin'. And Bellower probably would be the, the way to go. Or actually, let's go Route Marcher. There we go. So, we're fine here. This unit is still about two turns away from replenishing. Carrick Norn is under siege again, but that one we can win very easily. And that's taken care of, dealt with, good to go. And now... Goblin Tinkerer Bench. Very, very much needed. Very, very much needed because right now I am... I'm in pretty rough shape as far as technology goes. We're 60 turns in and I still haven't researched a single technology. So I'm a bit behind the curve there, but that's okay. We'll be fine. Alright, uh, the rest of our money... Do we want to do that? Or do we want to hold off? I think we'll hold off on upgrading those just for the time being. Grim, uh, we're in rough, we're in pretty good shape here with Skarsnick. I'm going to come here and we'll take that out and just sack it. Because free money is good. There we go. And actually, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade a couple of these. Why not? We'll give it a go. Supreme ruler of eight feet. And that's all fine there. Okay. End the turn again. And we're actually getting to the point here pretty soon where we're going to be able to support another army. Uh, which is good. For sure. Let's upgrade that. This army up here should have like one more turn to go before it's fully replenished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Scarsnick. Um, I'm actually going to level Zaborak now. I'm going to raise it, because we are at war with the Border Princes. And they're kind of an issue. So I'm going to take... I'm just going to get rid of them entirely. I'm just going to wipe them out. Zarekzil's one turn away from being able to build walls there. Skarsnick. <laughs> Can't talk. Skarsnick leveled up. Oh, he can learn... Hmm, that's an interesting ability. Okay, cool. Uh, let's give him Scarred Veteran. Increase his... Actually, no. What have I got here? Dynasty Skulker, weapon strength plus 10. That's super useful. And then... We'll go... Yeah, Scarred Veteran. That way I can finish that next time he levels up. Now, this Goblin Big Boss gets two skill points, so let's give him Survivalist. Level that up all the way. And that's all good. You have one more turn. All right. There we go. So, I need to go and deal with Karak Ziflin. Karak Ziflin is kind of an issue. Uh, and there's this nice little, like, Goblin... Dwarf province up here that will give me easy access to a lot of like Marienburg and so. uh, those kind of guys. So that would be very helpful. Uh, okay, so you are now full health. Let's bring you over here. And I'm going to try and hit Karig Ziflin next turn. Uh, I've got all of those. Let's go... I guess we'll start going down this blue line. That might be... I guess it'll... I mean, it is what it is. Okay. Uh, this. Myrmidons. That is going to be... A very nice and... Very... Expensive province. 
Uh, I don't see walls on it. Oh, boy. Ripe for the taking. Love it. Okay. Fantastic. I love it when they leave me undefended stuff. Uh, Zerixel walls needed ASAP. Maybe to the point where I'm actually tempted to put... I might actually put a small garrison in here for a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on the surrounding area. If we see anything get close enough, I'll put a small garrison in there. I can recruit some regiments for now. We've got a rebellion up here, as expected. That's fine. Carrick Ezor can defend it without any real issues, so I'm not too concerned about that. This one... Easy, easy victory there. Sack. 15,000, thank you. I will take that very gladly. And let's go finish off Scarred Veteran. And now we'll go into a raiding camp so we can replenish a little bit, I think. Well, hmm, let's actually move away. And go into the raiding camp so we can replenish. There we go. So that gave us a nice chunk of income to spend. So we could upgrade that. We could upgrade this. Upgrade that. That. And that. That's a decent chunk of our money gone. Over here we'll go... Uh, I really don't need... Well, I kind of do need that. Let's upgrade these as well. I'm basically just trying to get to the point where I can support an additional army. Yeah, the rest of it will hold on to. And you should have a full army now, so let's actually come and declare war on Carrick Ziflin again. Oh, they are joined by... Bastone. Well, in that case, if we're at war, I mean, you're just going to leave this guy here undefended. Sure, I'll take more money. I love free money. That's the best kind, if you ask me. There we go. Now, let's swing to... Can I get in their territory? Yeah, there we go. Raiden camp. I'll let my guys replenish a little bit. So that's good to go. And then we will upgrade... I'm tempted to do the walls here. I think we're going to do the walls on Carrick Norn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Excellent. Oh, and we can now research stuff. Fantastic. Uh, so let's go... More ammunition for bow units, I think. That's probably... Actually, let's do more damage for bow units first. And then we'll do the ammunition. So that's fine. Carrick Ezor, I'm working on upgrading. It's got a pretty substantial garrison and walls, though, and we saw how that went last time for our opponents. So I think we're fine. Oh, hello, Greenskins. Oh, Bestone wants a peace treaty now. How nice of them. Sure, I accept. Carrick Ezor is my focus. Razor Sack Blackstone Post. Oh, I intend to. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Let's come up. Well, oh, and I leveled up again. I love leveling up. Uh, let's see. Melee attack, squigs, bellower. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do bellower. Get that nice little upgrade there. And then here, we've got several armies, all of which I can beat on the open field, I think, but I do not think I can beat them. Although that's a lot of, that's a lot of longbeards, to be fair. Um, we'll see if we can start kind of sieging them out. Maybe we can get them to attack me. We'll see. If nothing else, we'll just wear them down through attrition. Carrick Norn, upgrade to a level 4 settlement. Scarsnick is chilling over here. I'm not actually at war with the Greenskins themselves, so 
I'm not going to worry about that too much. Although, they may have just about everything. And that would be kind of... I mean, I'm going to have to go to war with the Greenskins fairly soon. Let's just pop over here. And end that turn again. Hmm. I need to get Carrick Eight Peaks. For sure. And I need to establish kind of a foothold over here as well. Settlement besieged. And there's an army there that just ran away. Which means I can now take this pretty easily. Ooh. Uh, loot and occupy. I'll take the cash. I'm not too concerned about... Yeah, I'm not really concerned about the rest of it. So we'll do that. Uh, this I don't need. We'll just let these guys chill for a minute. Skarsnick, let's see. I'd love to find some targets that are not the Greenskins, because I don't particularly want to go to war with, green skin, with the Greenskins. Right now, I'd prefer to fight with the Dwarves, but I'm not necessarily completely against the idea of going to war with the Greenskins either. I can, I'm can i pretty sure I can take them, and I am going to have to take them out at some point anyway. Uh, let's see. Up here. Nothing I'm really worried about down here. Zarek Ziggle, full walls. ASAP. Please and thank you. That would be great. Okay. We've got a pretty nice chunk of money that we're sitting on right now, so that's good. There we go. Demolition complete. That's fine. Sneak up here and I'll make a pile of shiny stuff. How many turns am I going to need to replenish? Three more? Okay. Four more? Four more. I'm going to need four turns for that army to replenish. Eh, okay. I can live with that. We're just going to keep moving him up. Yeah, it looks like the Greenskins have pretty much this whole, like, area. Which is unfortunate, but that's all right. Southern Grey Mountains. What can I upgrade down here? Anything I actually need? Not particularly. Uh, let's upgrade that and this. Why not? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Border princes now want a peace treaty? Sure, we can have one. Temporarily. I'll destroy you later. Carrick Hearn's gone. I'm not really... I don't really care about them at all. Zifflin. Pile of shiny stuff. Upgrade. And over here? Yeah, Greenskins have all of this. They're pretty tough. What's their strength rank? One. Okay, 32 settlements. Duly noted. Okay, so we're going to have to carve a... We're basically going to have to carve a path through a bunch of Greenskins. That's okay. We can do that. I'll let this stuff finish upgrading. We've got this rebellion going on over here that will be pretty easy to take out. I've got a nice big garrison and strong walls guarding that. Zarek Zil will have full walls in just a minute as well, so it'll be able to defend itself, so that's good. All right, there we go. Karak Ezor got hit with things. Oh, it's under siege. Let's... Ooh. Okay. Well... Hmm. They can hold out for a while. I suppose that's where my... Nope, it's not. Okay. So we are going to raise another army right here. We will do a Night Goblin War Boss. Boring. Oh, man. Poor choices, but I guess we'll do this one. We'll put him here. And let's get a couple of squigs. And... Some nasty skulkers as well. That'll be good. And we're going to come up here. We're, we're basically going to make an army, and then we're going to come up here and wreck these guys. That's the plan. Because we can afford an additional army. 
Let's move you down over here. I need to see Carrick Eight Peaks. It's like right in here-ish somewhere, if I remember. You leveled up will give you stand your ground and bellower. Anything to help with the leadership of these armies because eh, goblin leadership, not so amazing. Although actually, I think I am probably best off going for these guys now. My army isn't in perfect shape, but on the other hand, it gives them, it'll prevent them from recruiting more units. So I think I'm best off tackling these guys right now. And that's a pretty easy fight too. Let's call that good. Loot and occupy again. There we go. Carrick Zifflin is no more. We'll do that and the pile of shiny stuff. I want to get walls on these settlements, essentially, as quickly as I can. I also need to get up here and get Grugzint. Um, so I suppose... What is at you want? Hmm. Maybe what we'll do is we will recruit one lord. Uh, not the one that has less movement range. Uh, I guess we'll do a, gro a goblin great shaman. And all I'm going to do is move him over here, capture Grugzin, and then disband him. Because this gives me this nice province, which is great for attacking Bretonia and the Empire provinces and all that kind of stuff. So it'll be good. Uh, let's get you into this stance and put you right here. Another level up here. I'm thinking... Hmm. Let's do elusive. Give him more melee defense. Make him a little harder to kill. Let's pop down here. There's Carrick Eight Peaks. And the garrison's actually not as big as I thought it would be. But they do have an actual army there, so that does, you know, make a difference. Uh, you're just going to chill for a minute. And then I think I'm going to start hitting these guys. Oh, beastmen are over here. Taking my stuff. There we go. Let's get six more of these nasty skulkers. We're just building up an army to take out that rebellion. Then we can use it for other stuff too, of course, but... There we go. Uh, one more squig. Let's get some goblins. That'll be, what, five goblins? And then we're only one unit away from... Yeah, that'll do. Oh, I just realized I don't really have any poison in this army. Hmm. That's kind of an issue. Why don't we do this instead? Let's do Night Goblin Archers instead. I think that'll be a better... A better idea, yeah. Night Goblin Archers. I mean, not, they're a little bit more expensive, but not much. All right, so we can see Carrick Eight Peaks. Do they have... And that's the only settlement that they have. So... They're pretty weak. I think we can probably... Let's do Advisor. Increase our damage. And if this is their only settlement, and I can siege it, I can... Wow! 18 turns. That's that's a lot of turns. And very poor labor force available per turn. Well, five... I mean, it's going to take 18 turns for me to be able to actually siege it. So let's do that. And we'll just continue the siege. That's going to take forever to do it that way, though. But they won't be able to recruit any more units. So maybe what I'll do is after we get this army up and running, maybe I'll send them down to reinforce. Uh, you get up here. You are not fully replenished, but you're getting close. All right, we'll end that turn. 
We're finally leaving, laying siege to Karak Eight Peaks, though. Oh. Okay. Um. Ah. Uh, yeah. We're gonna run away. Out of the range of the garrison. And I guess we'll just raid them. We'll, we'll go into, uh, we'll maybe sneak over here and go into raiding stance. And that'll actually give us a nice income boost as well. But, okay, so that's fine. You, normal, colonize Grugzint, and then disband. I don't actually need him, I just need this province so that I can build it up. Uh, and we will go growth and obedience. Eric Zifflin has walls. Oh! They're attacking me. Oh, they're attacking me with a big nasty army. Okay! Duly noted. I thought I had settled my war with the Empire, but apparently not. Alright, boys. Time to go and deal with some things. Uh, let's see. How far can I move? Not... Let's get over here. Sorry. Bestow and I need to get over here so I can reinforce that. Uh, I do have a Wa army, which will also be helpful. And these guys, these nasty skulkers, will do horrible things to great swords. So I think we'll be okay. Because they're... If they attack me, well, I have wall. I mean, is there any artillery in this army? No, there's not. So, yeah, we'll be fine. And you're basically done recruiting now, so let's get you, like, up to... Uh, do, 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 do. Let's get you up to here. And I don't... Think I can recruit? Yeah, I didn't think so. There we go. Oh! Technologies. Um, More ammunition. Okay. Let's go wipe out Carl Franz. Oh, and they're attacking me at Carrick Ezor with... Odds that are much better than it's, these odds. Yeah, this. Hmm. I don't think their odds are nearly as good as the auto resolve leads me to believe. I'm gonna quick save because I don't think they really have a chance. But yeah, we won it. Okay. I was gonna say if we didn't win it, I was gonna fight it because I know we can. I can know we. Win, I know we can win it doing it that way. Okay. Uh, Carrick Ezor. Repair all the things. And I think the Empire kind of needs to be dealt with. Uh, let's see. Let's get a rock lobber, actually. Just one. I feel like that's something that will be useful. Uh, let's move you. Ooh, and we actually have provinces over here that have been just raised altogether. Hmm. Let's get you to, like... Here. And then we'll recruit our rock lobber. And then Scar Snick. It's just chilling here, just raiding. Just, you know, whatever. Although, he's actually going to work his way up to a Wa pretty soon. Oh no, he's got a Wa that's like way over here. Okay. Huh. Let's move... Oh, man, I, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Now we got to leave him in the raiding camp. My wall will come to me. It's going to have to. Carrick Norn. Beast Slayers? Hmm. We'll just leave that for the moment. Sour Brain Basha. Ah, yes. Good thing I checked that. Because you... Need to come up here. Underway interception. Okay. Well, I was hoping I would have reinforcements. They've intercepted me, or they've intercepted me.
but I think we actually have a decent chance at winning this, although I don't really have any good answer for cavalry. So, we will see. I'm going to quick save again. Let's see if we can win this. Uh, I'm also partially quick saving because my this game has a tendency to crash. We've actually been pretty lucky. The last couple episodes, we haven't really had any issues, but... Yeah, I don't really want to deal with that if I can avoid it. Let's do this. Let's see, what's our charge bonus? 60 charge bonus. That's just insane. We'll put all these nasty skulkers over here. Definitely want to get them charging because of that massive charge bonus they get. Put them here. Put you here. And let's go ahead and start the battle. We're going to make them kind of come to me, but then we're going to charge them with our nasty skulkers and our goblins. 60 charge bonus. That's just ridiculous. And they do armor piercing damage, so these great swords are going to get eaten. Um, although, I will say that the great swords are definitely superior infantry and will put up quite a fight. Uh, I also need to start focusing down on Karl Franz, like, immediately with my archers. And you've got some abilities that could be useful. I do have a potion on my general. That's good. I didn't realize that. <laughs> okay. All right. I think we are good to go. We'll wait till we get a little closer. And they're... Basically in handgun range, so let's charge. And then we'll get our goblins charging in after them. Let's actually get these guys firing at the handgunners back here. We'll get our general charging up. And I'm going to use this right here. That's a good spot for it. Melee defense is decent. Stand your ground. I just want to wait until I'm in range of as many units as possible. There we go. I'll use that. The handgunners are taking fire now. It's been going down very quickly, I will say. That's good. Uh, these guys are getting completely destroyed. They're getting hammered. Nothing I can do about it, though. I mean, these other units are definitely superior. Sterling's Revenge over here. Yeah, I'm losing. My nasty skulkers are not going to be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with these units, but... Those handgunners are gone, essentially. I can't believe they're still... With those kind of losses, how are they that sturdy yet? Uh, you need to get down here and get on Carl Franz. Oh, I've got Halberdiers in my lines. That's not good. That's not good at all. Come on, general guy. I don't need you to be tangling with free company militia right now. I need you to come down here and tangle. Ooh, and I need you to not take a cavalry charge either. We're going to use the potion of healing. Those great swords are basically gone. All of my archers are just running away because they're cowards. Yeah, we got wrecked in this one. We got completely wrecked. Man. Didn't do nearly as much damage to them as I was hoping to either. Because my goblins are just like, yep, I'm just going to run. Nope, deuces, I'm out. Yep, mass route. Stand your ground. Come back, you. There we go. We got some guys coming back. Let's shoot at these great swords. Well, actually, that's a terrible target for them, but if I can bring a few down, it might be helpful. I said, use the thing. Maybe with a little more support, I could have won that, but... I don't know. That's rough. I did definitely do some damage to them, though. So they're going to have a hard time taking the city. 
Hmm. And I was, and then, uh, unfortunately, it's an underground army, so, or an underground interception, which means that whole army is now wiped out. Ah, man. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. It is what it is. I did do some damage to his great swords for sure, or for sure. So that's good at least. He's going to have He's going to have trouble when he actually assaults the city. Uh, we'll decline the attack. Carrick Asgaraz is the one under siege and of course that's where my barracks are. I don't have barracks up here. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring somebody up there to deal with all of this. Because otherwise, it's not going to be good. And Scarsnick is kind of off doing his own thing. So there's not much I can do. Alright. Let's end the turn. We'll see if uh, the Empire attacks me. They attack my settlement. They may disengage. We'll see. Obedience. Who's this guy? Oh, they're just walking through. Whatever. You can do that. I don't care. They're going to have to attack me eventually. Let's upgrade that. And that. I need walls on these settlements as quickly as possible as well. You need to work your way up here. And I don't, unfortunately, have the Gabos uh, stuff on him, so he's going to be pretty weak. And then we got Skarsnick over here. Sounds like a good idea. Who can come... Who can't actually make it all the way over, unfortunately. Let's put him, like, right... Here. And we'll go back into our raiding camp. Because I, I want to link up with my Wa. I think if I use... If my Wa and I combine, I think we might be able to take care of Gate Peaks. Maybe. They do have a lot of black orcs and stuff, but we'll see. Unfortunately, though, guys, I am out of time for this episode. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.